Yo, this is WSoul13 bringing you Raid Shadow Legends. And today we're gonna do the extra legendary event. Um, just like a, a little bit of a reminder on whether you should or should not do this extra legendary event. So, the best reason to do this is if you have been keeping track of your mercy and you know for sure you're gonna hit your mercy and you have enough ancients over your mercy to make back some of your bad luck. That's it. So you've been having bad luck. You've had a more than 100, is it 150 or 200? Mercy system. After 200 summons, so this is like you went 200 shards, ancient shards, and you legit did pull a legendary well you're gonna get a plus five percent increase right did i do that right plus five percent increase for every shard after that i mean you're, you're gonna pop one in in a few maybe three four five after that so that is a lot of um legendary uh, of shards i think um the guaranteed chance do not reset your your mercy if i'm not mistaken You'd have to look up uh, the guaranteed chance from the past, but I think it doesn't re reset your mercy. So, for the people that did Cantrophon, if you legit did not get a single legendary there and you didn't get, um, you didn't pull any more ancients after that, well, maybe this is your shot to get back some extra luck, actually, since you get, did get candy and now you're gonna get a uh, another couple of Legos, right? If you get lucky here. But, you know, the reality is most people should skip. I mean, the truth really about the game today is that you want to keep your shards unopened. That's it. That's how you win at these game, that this game today. And um, I just wanted to show really quickly, like, exactly how big a deal um, Halakath is. To, uh, to a newer account, right? So I haven't really done, uh, finished Doom Tower yet, but I just wanted to show you very quickly, okay. So I think we can go all the way up to Frost Spider, Magma Dragon, right? So up to Magma Dragon. No, that's not what I used. Who did that? There it is. So up to Magma Dragon, right? That's floor 79. You don't need anybody else from your wave clear team other than the FTP Trinity, right? And the boss fights themselves, you know, is fairly easy to do. You don't need anybody special. You just need to be able to do the boss mechanics, right? So for Magma Dragon, literally FTP Trinity plus Valerie can get you through and then another damage dealer, right? Um, for Frost Spider, uh, FTP Trinity plus Valerie and Armiger can get you through. Armiger with a block revive will take care of Frost Spider. Nether Spider, you want Spirit Pulse. It doesn't really matter what level Spirit Pulse is in, but definitely you need Spirit Pulse to get past Nether Spider, right? So, it doesn't matter. A Slossy Saver ability and you hit that cleanse right after the ally attack for Nether Spider, right? And then for um, Scarab King, uh, the combination of the FP Trinity plus Valerie for the shields on a shield set and then Armiger on a destroy set. You should be able to get through Scarab King twice minimum, right, if you have a team like that. But what happens after the first two sets of bosses? Well, after the first two sets of bosses, right, it starts to get hard. So from here on... Uh, Maybe not from here on, from I think 91 onwards, right? So 91 onwards, right, in terms of clearing the floors, you're gonna need a carry champ for 91 onwards, right? So one of them is gonna be um, Broadmaw, obviously, who's everybody's gonna use for, for Dragon's 20. So this, all right, so long-winded explanation. This is the reason why you want the Diamond Hand shards because they could release a champ like Helicat, and if you have pulled Helicat at day 50, day 60, day 70, you know, you can actually beat normal Doom Tower with Helicat. I mean, look at that. 
So floor 90 Nether Spider on um, normal Dune Tower is for a lot of players the first real test, like whether they can, you know, beat normal Dune Tower or not, right? So floor 90 Nether Spider is the first big test, and a team like this, you know, with Helicath in it, is enough to break Nether Spider. I mean, obviously, you're going to need a lot of Warmaster props to do this, but the combination of Broadmaw reviving Helicath and then Helicath putting out the block damage, it's money against Nether Spider, right? So I think we can scale that all the way up to 120. So I'll do another video um, once I'm able to scale Helicath all the way up to normal Spider 120. But I believe that um, just having shards available to open in case they drop a fusion event, that's really, really good. So Drang, Drang is, is a pretty good fusion champ. I mean, if he's your first ever fusion champ, let's say you missed Helicath for whatever reason, and you went after Drang, you got Drang, you wouldn't be that upset that Drang would be your first fusion champ, you know? But, I mean, if you had enough for, for Drang, why didn't you have enough for Helicath? So that would be kind of like a legit question <laughs> for me to ask, right? I'm like, what? <laughs> you missed Helicath, but you got Drang, huh? That's kind of weird, right? So keeping your powder dry, so you're ready for these fusion champs, you're ready for a guaranteed champ, is the main strategy now. And the way you do that is with the free champs, the FTP Trinity, you get Broadmaw, you get Armiger, right? You get Valerie, you just, Rock through the content with those free champs and then, you know, see from there. Getting lucky is still good, right? Obviously. But if you can direct that luck these days, that's the way to go. So that's why these extra legendary events, it's really a matter of can you recoup your bad luck, right? So I'll see you all next time.